it, it seems like we're having like not just these two argumentative um, interlocking stories, but also that um, you're treating on some level the Indian territory as Native Americans colonizing the land. So it's sort of an imperial narrative that we have. But then at the same time, there's the African American story here as well. And off, very often in recent works, I, I've seen that we're trying to treat the Indian territory as sort of a borderland or a border state. And that sort of implies that we're already having sort of an a settled environment, right? Right. So I use uh, a term that I I believe I've coined. Perhaps someone has coined it before me, but um, I call it the settler colonial process, uh, which is the way that non-white peoples kind of take on beliefs of Europeans and Americans um, about what makes a person civilized. And so the idea for Indian territory is that you don't have those kinds of concepts. Um, you don't have slavery that is practiced in the Euro-American way until these native people come to this space and really change it. Um, and so they are really the first wave of people who kind of believe in that way. And so it's not just kind of the white American government or white American settlers who come in and then bring this later on when Oklahoma becomes a state. I'm arguing that it happens earlier through people who are not white, but do have beliefs uh, some of which mirror kind of the American settler state. 